King Charles III with Pride of Jenny and Fangirl. It's been an afternoon like very few that we experience, certainly in racing and in sport. It transcends the sport a day like today. So, up comes Moravia. She's in good, he's in good form. The son of Schnitzel, Michael Friedman's already had a good day. Our striker's going to be just about the last to come up, I think. And maybe one more to come up. Bella Nipotina winning the most remarkable. It was an epic Everest today over Giga Kick and Growing Empire. So, shins in, we're set to go for the Silver Eagle. Three into the Golden Eagle in a fortnight from now. Ready? Racing. And there's a lovely line out. V8 will be taken back to last from the wide draw and Estraka being sent forward. And Estraka is going to lead these and lead them out by a length and a half quite comfortably in fact from Rhythm of Lava War Machine moves forward and Kamachi's right up there in the firing line in fourth. They're followed by Zadaki down on the rails from Flying Trapeze and bases loaded cast deep Moravi is trucking along on the fence getting very keen. Franz Joseph out deep then Port Lockroy further back to Strit and Angel well timed on a wide path from Konosana and the well supported V8's last 10 off the lead. So a striker in control of the 600 metres from Rhythm of Love War Machine and Kamachi beautifully positioned fourth, followed by Zadaki going through on the fence. Then bases loaded, flying trapeze. Well timed is out very deep from Franz Joseph and Moravia right for luck on the fence. Port Lockroy stoked up. V8 still last. Estraka at the 300 leads by a length on Rhythm of Love War Machine. Then Kamachi gets going. Zadaki running up behind them. Estraka 200 to go. It's Estraka a length and a half clear. Zadaki working into the clear. Kamachi the outside needs to lift. It's still a striker in front though, inside the 50, and a striker is going to beat Zadaki. Photo third, War Machine and Kamachi, Moravia next, followed by Konasana. Further back to Port Lockroy, V8 running on at the end, but he was too far back. Then Strut and Angel, Franz Joseph, Rhythm of Love, Flying Trapeze, bases loaded and well timed. Hey, Emma Card Blake shouldn't pull a surprise or two. We've seen that in the last week. You with your best friend Annabelle Nation. You guys are joined at the hip, you guys. Oh, this this guy's so progressive. He is just absolutely flying as we see him take up the running straight away. Tell me that was the plan, or did you jock, jock just judge conditions? Well, we, I left it. I, everyone, the stewards kept asking, what, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know, ask Blake, because what do you do from that draw? He's so versatile, he can go forward or back. So I just left Blake about very open book and um, he was just going to see how he began but he pinged the lids and um, at that point he had to commit um, or he was going to be cast wide but he actually got there really easily and then Blake looked like he really slowed it down, controlled the race and gave nothing else a chance. He's got a picket fence behind him now, like what's his ceiling do we think going forward? Oh, I think he's very good, he's so progressive and I just said to the owners pre-race, I think this horse will be better again in six and 12 months because he's grown a lot, uh, but he hasn't yet really furnished, I don't think. I know he's a four-year-old, but I think he's still got a lot of physical development to come. And I just love, he's so, he's so diverse. He can go forward, he can go back. And uh, look, the ride won the race there. 1,500 metres, no worries. We'll see what Blake says, but uh, for that amount of prize money, we'll be trying, I think. Hey, well done there. And the mayor ran well and still a big chance to come in the next in the King Charles III with Amelia's Jewel. Thank you. Yeah, terrific.